actually I got my dark eye circle also black. But yeah, today I'm going for therapy, one-to-one -one session. And I just thought that I wanted to film this entire walk with you guys. It has been quite some time since I went for therapy. I actually stopped when I was in Singapore because I felt that they didn't trust me. I was prescribed antidepressant but because I really really have a phobia of eating medicine that's why I didn't eat and I went to see her again she just said that you know you need to try not I can't help you yes I understand that like I'm the one who can only help myself but I think in terms of getting the understanding and the trust from people is also another thing that would encourage or motivate so I'm a bit scared of going to therapy kind of i don't know like i have no expectations because i really don't know what is going to happen but yeah i'm gonna wake up now and prepare just a little disclaimer i don't think i'll be filming any of the process because it's gonna be quite personal i don't think i'm that comfortable and i don't think my art therapist is also comfortable with me filming so um, I'll check back with you guys of how I feel after the therapy session so yeah for now let's get into getting ready I'll be putting concealer. My concealer is from Tarte. Oh, I feel like YouTuber, you know. So normally I only take the excess because I don't need much. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like super lazy to get a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna use my finger. But make sure that your finger is clean. So I just wanted to talk about therapy. I need help. As I was saying, the idea of therapy was scary to me. Because I think at the time, I didn't think I needed help. Now, when I'm older, I realize that there are a lot of things that I can't do on my own. That's why my perspective of therapy shifted quite a lot. Anyways, next up, I'll be putting this. But really, there's nothing inside. Like, I just use the comb to comb my brow. And then the final step is to put my lipstick. I'm using the Momondu Creamy Tins Clay Stick. Okay, so I'm walking to the therapy place. Feeling okay, I guess. Scared, but um, I know I can do this. Okay, here goes. I'll update you guys about what happened. Hi, guys. So, I really, really, really like the session. It's very different from the usual therapy that I've had. Those of you who doesn't know, the therapy that I went for today is art therapy. Basically with my art therapist where I am doing like volunteer work. It's kind of scary because she's like knowing me a lot more. It's actually my first time doing art therapy one on one. When I first reached, I was super nervous. I was sweating like even though it's cold, I was sweating man. Like I was like, oh my god, I need to stop sweating, it's embarrassing. <laughs> We got into making art first. I could do whatever I want with the art materials, draw whatever things. And from there, she would actually find out things like, um, why did I use this color? Why did I draw this? What's the psychology behind? It's super quiet. She's looking at me draw and it's like awkward. She also made like small talks. I think through this like small talk, she got to know me even better and know why I'm like that. But after drawing, talk a little bit. And she asked me to draw again. When I was doing the first drawing, I used chalk and I hated it. I hated the sound. It made my whole body like feel very numb and Week. And then um, just stop using them. Then after the first drawing, she asked me to use the chalk again. It was so uncomfortable because like, I just really don't like the texture. I really don't like 
the way it made me feel. She was asking me to use a chalk to draw and then from then on she kind of like do all these like psy psychology things and it's quite cool actually. And then we talked and talked and talked and then I started crying. Talk about like childhood as well. I came with the mindset of like I need to cure my eating disorder but it ended up being more towards like my childhood. Quite a cool experience. I had a really fun time. I learned new things about myself. I want to show you guys the artwork that she asked me to use the chalk. I didn't bring the first one back because I just didn't like the way it looked. I brought the second one back which is the one that made me uncomfortable. The chalk. Because I felt like I like the colour and it looks like a boat. I'm gonna show you guys the drawing. Well this is the, the drawing that she asked me to do. Well ultimately I feel like out of all the therapies that I've been to like this really helped me more in terms of like being present in the moment, it's really a lot of like being present in the moment and not just like talking and hooking yourself into the thoughts that you have bringing you back oh my god guys autumn <laughs> sorry back to sidetrack so it's really a lot of being present in a moment which is what I think is really important I really enjoyed this one and I'm so glad that art therapy is something I'm gonna pursue so that is the end of the therapy session today I'm heading to the library now so that I can do my work I have like lots and lots of school work yeah bring you guys along with me to the library sun is gonna set in like 20 minutes I'm happy because I felt really really productive I'm going home to do more work Hi guys! Thursday today Thursday is one of the days where I have to go for my volunteer work and attend the support group so we had therapy today and something interesting happened um, before I came I was deciding on a book that I want to bring over to Melbourne to like read you know I was deciding between Mitch Albom's Stranger in the Life Boat ever since I got the book I have not read it because I have been reading a lot of other books aside from this book that I was deciding to bring over was the other one called The Body Keeps the Score. It's actually a book recommended by one of my friends. He actually bought it for me alongside with another book called What Happened to You. So I was reading What Happened to You around February. Like I didn't want to be overwhelmed with the amount of knowledge. So I didn't bring The Body Keeps the Score. Spent like 10 minutes deciding which book I would, I want to bring, you know. I ended up bringing Mitch albums because um, it's a novel, it's a story and I think that at the time, you know, I was already filled with a lot of knowledge from what happened to you. So I think Mitch Albom's book would be a better choice. Okay, so bring back to what happened today. Today is the last session for the term for the volunteer group because next week is Easter holiday. There will be two weeks off and my art therapist, he just came to me and she just gave me a book to read over like the two weeks or something. and. Guess what book that is? Yes. <laughs> I have no words. It's the body keeps a score. When she gave it to me, I was like, what the heck? I was speechless and I was so mind blown by it. I, I just kept smiling because I knew that this was God's doing. It's crazy because I finished Mitch Album's book on Sunday. Wow, I can't. Out of millions of books, okay? <laughs> This was the one. My God is amazing, no? Oh my God, I don't know. For sure that this is something that God wants me to read. Wow, oh, this is this is crazy. <laughs> so this is the update that I wanted to let you guys know. Ah, I'm so like stoked. But anyways, thank you for watching. This gives you an insight of how therapy is like. How therapy would make you feel. Not just any therapy, but the right therapy for yourself thank you again for watching i hope that this week's video has been uh, insightful fun interesting and i hope you liked it <laughs> remember to like subscribe and comment down below okay thank you i'll see you in the next video